Yo YouTube, what is good? My name is Scott Adamson and in today's video I'm going to be talking about two tools that I've used a ton of in my second van build that I hardly use at all in the first van build. So let's roll that intro and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. The two tools that I didn't use at all in the first van build that I'm using a ton of in the second van build are one is a vernier caliper and two is a paint sprayer. So let's jump right in and talk about why I use these tools so much on the second build and why I didn't use them really at all on my first van build. Item number one, the caliper. What is it? Well, basically just this little device that's super accurate at measuring things. It gives very detailed and very precise measurements. And on my first van build, I guess I wasn't as concerned about that because on the second van build, I seem to be using it all the time. On this build, I seem to be using the caliper for a ton of things. And I think that has to do with the fact that I'm using 80-20 for all of my cabinet framing and a lot of rib nuts to attach the cabinets to the walls of the van in this build. The caliper is excellent for determining drill bit sizes to match up with the rib nuts you're using. And I'm using it a lot to just check my thicknesses, check bolt lengths, anything that I just want to quickly compare two things side by side to see which is thicker, which which is thinner, which is longer, which are sh is shorter, the caliper gives you an amazing ability to just kind of check that measurement super quickly down to like, I don't know what the increment is, maybe like one one twenty eighth of an inch, I think is how accurate this particular caliper goes. It's not a super expensive one. I just grabbed it off of Amazon, but it's working perfect for me. And personally, I like to go with the digital one. My dad used to have, a, and probably still has it. It's got an actual uh, dial you have to read. And I don't really understand how to read the dial. So I just, the digital one's easy, quick, so get the digital one. The next item I've used a ton during this van build that I didn't use at all during my first van build is just a cheap paint sprayer, but it's never had any paint inside of it. I've been using it for all of my upholstery stuff and all of the high pressure laminate that I'm putting on all my cabinet faces. Basically, I'm filling it up with the upholstery glue, which is a contact cement, and using the paint sprayer to apply it. Some people will use like a roller or a brush, but this cheap paint sprayer and an air compressor is working awesome and and it's probably the tool that we've almost used the most. I used it for fastening the radiant barrier in the floor. I used it for fastening the foam and the perforated marine vinyl to the ceiling panels. I used it when I covered my headliner shelf with the foam and the Duramax Marathon Tweed fabric. I used it when I covered my window opening when I cut in the crew window. Before installing the window, I uncovered that with the same Duramax Tweed fabric. I also used it to fill the void between the headliner and the, I guess that would be the B pillar. I upholstered the foam blocks that the van comes with. And I'm using it to apply all of my uh, high pressure laminate to my cabinet faces. So all in all, I think it was like a $60 sprayer and it's still working, it's still going. If it broke tomorrow, I'd go buy another one in a second. All you have to make sure is that you clean it really well when you're done with it. A few little tips and tricks and things that I've learned about using the paint sprayer is kind of once you've used it for glue, I wouldn't really call it a paint sprayer anymore. I think it should just be strictly used for kind of spray glue and spray adhesives and I would never use it for paint again. Before you start spraying, every time you go to spray, it's a good idea to run some cleaner through the gun. So fill up the canister with a little bit of the cleaner and just run that through. When you were cleaning the gun last time you used it, if by chance you didn't get it perfectly clean, the cleaner usually can soften up the glue and make it so you don't have to take the whole gun apart and clean it. But sometimes you do have to rip it apart again. Whenever you are done using the gun, make sure you do clean it as good as you can. I recommend taking it all apart and kind of soaking the pieces in some of the solvent cleaner that you purchase when you're buying your spray glue. And that gives you the best chance of when you do go to use the gun again that you are going to be able to use it. The solvent is super strong though and I'm not the best at cleaning it so I don't think you have to do that good of a job but do clean it every time otherwise it's probably going to be garbage. Another tip is the glue that you use for this stuff is super strong. It's very toxic. It's very strong smelling. So I highly recommend doing it in a well ventilated area and wearing a mask. If you've seen a lot of my earlier videos I'm not wearing a mask and the reason was because it was kind of at the very start of COVID and getting these masks was nearly impossible but I've since been able to get my hands on a good ventilator and moving forward I'm going to be using a mask because just the cleaner and the glue are super strong and I don't think you should be you know inhaling any of the fumes if you can avoid it. We did have the door open and a fan blowing and even at that point it was super strong so I did I was constantly checking to try to get a ventilator for this because I knew how much of it we had and I finally got one. So moving forward, I will be using a ventilator. Not a ventilator, wrong word, a respirator. So one of those masks 
with the cartridges on the side for the rest of the spraying that I do on this project. So yeah, those are kind of two tools that I'm using a ton of on the second band build that I hardly used at all. I mean, I didn't use the sprayer at all on the first band build, and I don't really remember using the caliper. I think maybe for the door hinges I might have used it, but get used to using the sprayer and the caliper on your next band build because they do make things a lot easier, and once you get used to using them, you're going to find yourself grabbing for them a lot more often than you think. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next video.